I have the two plates that I made up to fix my roll cage uh, to the floor and I just need to weld them in. I have um, weld through primer on the backs of them and on the floor as well. So you can see that pulls up every time I bolt it down. So I'm going to have to um, start with the top edge and then let it pull itself down to the floor. I can probably weld straight through this primer, but out of habit I'm scraping off a little bit of the paint to make a good contact. And then prop it up so the top edge is tight against the inner sill. Earth the welder to the body through one of the, the paint drain holes. I'm still learning from experience with the welder. I'll put a tack on just to hold the piece to make sure it's in the right position and as there will be a join there in the weld it won't be so bad because it's on the inside. I was about to do one on the more visible side there but it was in nice and tight so I decided not to and just continued that inner weld. I then did a longer more continuous one on the outside here. Now, I got a little bit of a uh, flame up when I came to the seam with the floor, the inner sill. That did interrupt my weld a little bit, unfortunately. I got a nice one across the top. But you can actually see I, I had to restart the weld lower down and actually ground off a bit of it to tidy it up because it ended up a bit too thick. Blast off a bit of the debris. And I'm going to bolt the plate down. If you remember before, I, I bolted it in with the, the cage and the, the floor flattened out under it. So I don't need to involve the cage at this point now because I got all my measurements. But I'm just going to uh, put these three inner bolts in and pull the floor up. It's handy working so close to the toolbox. Of course, once I have the tools out, I can just bring them around to the other side. So that's why I generally start with uh, everything on the passenger side of this car, the right-hand side. So you can see the floor coming up to meet the plate there. I'll give it a couple of taps with the hammer. Get it in that last bit uh, on the edge. Scrape off a bit of my paint again. So I'll be welding this lower section of my fixing plate in now. Again, I'll start with the least visible edge. Make sure I've got my settings right on the welder. That wasn't a great position, so I switched to being inside the car to continue that one out. So, yeah, glad I started with that inside edge. This will be one of the most visible bits of welding. And here's the long edge. I'll remove the plate from underneath now. I had a little idea the other day when I was looking at all those extra holes from when someone must have had a, a cage in this car before. And the idea was to weld over those old holes which will also bond the floor into the centre parts of the plate. I grind the welds down with the flap wheel flush with the floor so that my plate will go back on again nice and flat. So the floor isn't quite Swiss cheese anymore. Cleaned off the top with the wire wheel and the grinder. Just getting rid of all the bits of um, spatter. 
and then spray it with a bit of uh, zinc primer to keep the rust out. Did the same underneath and I was about to carry on and repeat the job on the other side but that my friends is a power cut.